In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Edpuzzle. So what is Edpuzzle? It's a web-based interactive video and formative assessment tool that lets users crop existing online videos and add content to target specific learning objectives. So what's that look like? Let's go ahead and take a look. So a couple quick things. Uh, once your uh, once the student is logged in, again, they can go into Gmail and see that there has been a new assignment posted, so they can go ahead in and select it. Again, it's something to get used to going in and checking email, so they can go ahead and select here and then open the assignment right here. Another way to do this is to go into the launch pad, select Google Classroom, and then you'll see the tile, the specific classroom. You can see this right here, and you can see that it there is an assignment due Friday. So, you, of course, they can select here. They can also go ahead in, select classwork. They can see there's been a new one here. But the main thing you really want to check is view your work. So, you can see things that are assigned, turned in, and missing. Again, it's right here, Edpuzzle, and it's on characterization. So, we're going to go ahead and select that, and then select view details. Now, you can see we're going to have to select right in here. Now, there may be times where this is worth a certain number of points. Sometimes it's ungraded. It depends on the teacher. For right now, I have it at 100 points. We're going to select right in here. And now, you can see how there are things that are coming up to do. Now, I'm not going to go through all this, but I just want to show you what it's going to look like. So, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Characterization is the way that the writer reveals the personality of a character. Even though this is a literary term, we can demonstrate its use using the movie Frozen. Okay, so you can see little notes that they're going to ask them to. So if there's something like, hey, you need to copy down the definition of characterization, if they know it, they can go ahead and write it in. If they need to rewatch it, they can rewatch it, and then they know that they have to write this down. So let's go ahead and rewatch it. Characterization is the way that the writer reveals the personality of the Okay, so they can go ahead and pause it and write it down. Even though this is a literary term, we can demonstrate its use using the movie Frozen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Characters are revealed through direct characterization and indirect characterization. Direct characterization tells the audience what the personality of the character is. Okay, so if we have that and we know that, we can go ahead and select continue after we've written our notes. A great example of this is the patient boy and the quiet girl were both well-mannered and did not disobey their mother. Here, the author is directly telling the audience the personality of the two children. The boy is patient and the girl is quiet. Okay, so you can see right in here, here's our multiple, co multiple choice question. So you can go ahead, which words in the quote does the author use to directly characterize, characterize the boy and the girl? So if they need to rewatch it, they can go ahead and rewatch it. So if, a great example of this here is, we go. The patient boy and the quiet girl were both well mannered and did not disobey their mother. Here, the author is directly telling the audience the personality of the two children. Okay. The boy is patient and the girl is quiet. So there we go. So we can go ahead, patient, and quiet. And then you can continue on. And you want to hit submit. Okay. So there we go. So far, so good. We're going to hit continue. Characters will also be revealed. Okay. So they will go through. Now, depending on how the teacher does have things set up, for the most part, they're going to have to go through the whole thing and they won't be able to skip ahead. Sometimes on certain ones, depending on the teacher and how they have the lesson set up, they may be able to skip. But for the most part, um, they're going to have to watch the whole thing and answer questions as it goes through. So that's how they'll go through, work on Edpuzzle, and then make sure at the very end, when they're finished with everything, to make sure they'll hit Mark is done to make sure that it is completed once they have completed the entire assignment. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.